Sequent Performance Products Engineering. This video is primarily for you. This morning we were doing a hitch and four-way wiring install on a 2009 Nissan Murano. Upon getting the hitch completed, we opened the back hatch to begin the wiring um, portion of the install. Of course, you know most of the inside of the vehicle has to come apart uh, to access the wiring harness. But what I notice is inside here, after the trim panels have been put apart, is this single white fairly heavy gauge wire coming along with a connector on the end. Now I've got um, a, a 12 volt tester uh, hooked up and grounded with the probe inserted into that uh, to find out what this thing does. It is not hot, it's cold. Up underneath the hood of the vehicle um, you will find that it has a fuse panel up here. I've already taken the the cover um, the cover of this off inside the cover right here so I can find it it's kind of hard to do this with hand right uh, sun, the sun shining on it sorry about that right there says 30 amp trailer which happens to be this empty fuse slot right here this is not the right fuse. It's it's it needs to be a low profile fuse, which I have those. I'm just putting this in for for ease of of testing. But when I put that into that slot, you can't hear it probably. But as soon as I touch that to the post, I hear my uh, tester back there beeping. Beep. I don't know if you can hear that or not. And the key, uh, well in this case it's not really a key, it's the push button ignition key fob style. Does not have to be on for that to be hot. So by putting a 30 amp low profile blade style fuse in this port, that wire back there becomes our hot wire and it is not necessary to run the 12 volt auxiliary line all the way down the frame to the power distribution box. Huge time saver. In fact, my uh, recommendation would be um, to make the T connector with the power wire fit this plug, which I'm going to go ahead and break that off. And there's our plug style. Very simple um, one wire, uh, one wire power plug right there. I'm sure some models may have this, some models may not, but um, that would be a, a huge, uh, a huge time saver. Yeah, it will be a huge time saver. Um, I wanted to get the the part number of the harness that we're putting in. It is the 118481. Again, that's 118481. With that uh, change to that, um, that would make that harness uh, much, much neater and uh, easier to install. So, yeah, there you go. Have a great day.